Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are first going to create an array of integers. We will call it numbers and populate it with the numbers from 1 to 5. We will then initialize an empty array and we will call it empty array. We will randomly add index values from the numbers array to the empty array. In order to randomly add index values, we first need to generate a random number between 0 and the number of items in the array. This is done using the arc for random uniform method, where it takes the upper bound as a parameter. We are now ready to randomly add an item from the numbers array using the append function. Okay, we will next remove that very same item from the numbers array by using the remove at index position function. We do this to avoid repeating items. We can now print the contents of the empty array. At this point, the empty array is going to contain one element. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to number these steps because we want to repeat this as long as the numbers array contains items. So steps 3 to 6 will be repeated 4 times. So that means I'm going to have to copy and paste steps 3 to 6. Now as we copy and paste we can see that the empty array is being populated with random elements from the numbers array. However, there is a much easier way to do all of this using a for in loop. But why stop there? Why not make this into a function? So let's call this function shuffle array and it's going to have one input which is going to be an array of integers and it's going to return an array of integers. Now array to be shuffled is going to be the external name and array1 is going to be the local name. Array1 is a constant and its value cannot be changed. So we're going to have to copy that to a new variable. Now we will call this new variable all array. We will initialize a new empty variable and call it new array. And we will also initialize a variable called random number. Now we can start the body of our for loop. This loop is going to loop for all of the items in array 1. So if there are 5 items in array 1, it will loop 5 times. Basically, I'm just going to copy the code from before and once we have finished copying all of that um, we just need to have a return statement 
I want to type in the return statement, that error that you have there, that should, that should go away. Okay, I'm going to create an array of even numbers and I'm going to pass that array into our newly created function. And if you look there at the side, you'll see that the numbers in that array are shuffled. Now this function can also be apply to strings so if you have some strings and you want to um, and you want to shuffle them all you have to do you have to change a few lines of code change it from int to string and now we need to create an array of strings and pass them into our function and I'm gonna say hi my name is Victor. I'm going to pass that into the function and see what happens. Great, it works. If you enjoyed the content, like or subscribe and thank you for watching.